So guys, it is currently Friday the 2nd of August at around 10 a.m. And if you saw the date, the 2nd of August, and it is a Friday, you know what is about to happen today. It is NFP. So I'm gonna trade NFP today on one of my smaller accounts, one of my personal accounts that isn't as large as maybe prop firms or my main accounts because NFP does hold some risk. And if you're entering NFP, then you have accepted that risk in the first place, that there will be a lot of volatility, the spreads will be quite wide, but I have accounts that I trade it on for fun. I've traded it over the past three or four years probably, majority of NFP releases I have traded, so I have a good amount of stats for previous NFPs that I've actually made profit on. So I'm always excited for a bit of NFP trading. A lot of people will try and trade the news events, like the high volatility news events, when they don't really have experience trading them, or they'll trade them with their main accounts, with their normal risk amounts, with small stop losses. It just doesn't work. If you're trying to trade with 10 pip stop losses, 20 pip stop losses on NFP, and you're wrong, even if you're right, you can get worked out. The spread is massive right at the release. I usually trade a little bit after. So after we've had that initial push, I will enter a position and if you've seen previous videos on the channel when I've traded NFP, that is usually the case. So over the next hour, two hours after NFP, that is when I make my profit. So I'm technically still trading NFP because the movements are still as a result of the NFP, but it's not the initial move that the majority of people think I actually trade. And when it actually happens, I'll show you guys the spread. The spread is outrageous. And let's say you wanna enter at 1.800 for example, or 1.8 thousand, whatever. The spread will be like 10, 20 pips higher or lower than that. So depending obviously if you wanna buy or sell, it can be quite disastrous. So for the plans today, what I've got to do is Film some final stuff for 60 Profit, which is releasing on the 12th of August. So be sure to set your reminders for the 12th of August. Then you have seven days to actually purchase before we fully launch the content rollout on the 19th. So be sure to set your reminders. And if you don't know what 60 Profit is, check out the website below. There will be a dedicated video coming soon, obviously. But yeah, got some content to film for the dashboard. So when you log in, I want to have a video that says, this is how 60 Profit's gonna work. And this is how you go through all the different areas of the dashboard, how to actually get the most out of 60 Profit. Because a lot of times people buy a course or they'll buy a program like this. Obviously it's not a course, as many people think it is. People think it's a prop firm or a course. It is neither of those. I just want to make sure people get the most out of it. Yeah, have a, a good 60 days of trading, which is obviously the, the ideal outcome. Everyone enjoys it, everyone gets a lot of information, and we all win. And every day I usually do some sort of workout, whether it's tennis or running, gym workout, you know, just got to keep fit. You know, I don't want to be like a Mr. Olympia. I don't want to be like David Goggins, but I feel like a good mix of everything. So you're, you're healthy, you can run a 5K with ease, you can do a certain amount of pull-ups with ease. You know, that, that's kind of the, the thing that I feel like is most important. A lot of traders end up sitting at their desk all day and doing absolutely nothing. You have to keep fit. Maybe you go on a walk after your trading session. Maybe go on a run. Maybe hit a heavy bag. Go and hit some golf shots. Go play tennis. These are key things to actually do if you want to stay fit while trading. Because also, if you're not healthy, you're not gonna be able to sleep as well. You're not gonna be able to perform at a high level that you need to if you are trading full time. So. 10.24, it is very hot in England right now. So usually I'll do it late in the evening or early morning, um, but we've got a lot to do today, so it'll have to be in the evening. So yeah, some work to do, and I'll catch you guys yeah. near to NFP. Okay guys, so I've just edited a video for the main channel and after this, once this is done exporting and rendering, I'm then going to edit the 60 Profit promo video, which is obviously shorter. It's only about, I think, three or four minutes in length, so it will be easier to edit. And then I'm gonna cut that up into shorts for Instagram, potentially, you know, TikTok or YouTube shorts. You know, one piece of content, one piece of long form content 
can make five, six, seven pieces of short form content. So the shorts you see on this channel, the Instagram reels you see on my link trading page, for example, or 60 profit, they come from main channel videos and it's a good way of kind of reaching a new audience. Because especially nowadays, people, their attention spans are very, very short. So long form videos, like the one I'm rendering now, the percentage of people that will watch that in comparison to people that will just flick through and watch those shorts, less people are watching longer videos now. They like that quick dopamine hit of a TikTok, of an Instagram reel, of a YouTube short. So that is why I feel like short form is still good, but obviously long form, that's when you can properly get your ideas across because short form doesn't really have much context. But let's say I put this into a short form right now. You wouldn't know what I'm talking about. You wouldn't know the industry. You wouldn't know what type of video I'm talking about. It just wouldn't really make much sense. So they're good to grow. A lot of people can see them very quickly, but again, no context at all. So that is what we're doing. Okay guys, so it is coming up around nine minutes until NFP now, but the account I usually use to trade this isn't working on my PC MT4. I'm not, not sure why, but I am going to have to screen record on my phone. Uh, we have the account here, 5.4K in there, and as you see, it is a live account. And, you know, I wouldn't do this with any demo accounts. Um, so yeah, I will be screen recording on my phone whilst we're looking on the trading view recording as well because I want to show you the actual executions as well as what's happening on the trading view because when I have my phone open on the, the trades, I usually have it on the profit thing because when you're trading news, you want to be in and out positions fairly quickly. So yeah, like I said, usually I trade it on PC and as you've seen in previous videos, it's been super easy, but this one account I use just is not working and it's very annoying, but next time we will sort it out. But we only have eight minutes now, so don't really have the time to sort it out now, but hopefully it is ready for the, the next NFP next month. We can only hope, hey? But yeah, eight minutes, I'm just eating some pasta, some spinach and ricotta, tortellini. It's probably one of the best pastas out there, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I'll see you in seven minutes for the release. So we have just under, or just about one minute now until the NFP release. And as you see, we're currently in this zone. We have imbalance above to fill. We have this load to take out here. We could do both, you know, that is an FP. But we're gonna see what happens first. And you'll see the spread probably widen quite a bit. And then we'll get in. We don't wanna enter right now because it could go up or down. <laughs> we're gonna enter after there's already been a bit of a move. So we're gonna have the page ready here whilst we're looking on the trading view because the time it takes to look at price and then press across, you know, it can move quite a few pips in that time, which is not what we want. Okay, so about seven seconds. You see the spread is widening now slightly, around, around two pips, three pips. Okay, so we've got a push to the upside now. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for potential sells. So there we go, we're in sells now. And if price goes up even more, we can continue selling. There we go. So we have our two positions and we're just looking to take profit at, at, you know, maybe the entry level or maybe slightly lower. So now we're up around 50, 80. It could stay around this level, we'll go up slightly more first before then dropping, but likelihood of it now dropping to the entry or lower is fairly high. So as you see, we are filling this imbalance. So we could go even higher you know, even to around this level up here. But we're in the trade, we're up around 70 pounds. And the way I see news trading is that I'm doing it on a smaller account. It's not like I'm risking 1%, I'm not doing this, you know, I just do it for fun. So if you are looking at this thinking, I wanna do that too, firstly, do not do this because it is not good trading. I just do it for fun and people like watching me, me do it. It's like you'll see on YouTube, people like watching people blow their accounts, for example. People like watching gambling videos. It's just like entertainment. We're up around a hundred pounds now, which is very nice. So yeah, hopefully we continue dropping down to around the entry point, you know, 27,500 if we add our take profit there. 27,500. Obviously it's like 24, 25 pips away. 
but it's NFP so I feel like we can do that. And then what we're going to do is if we hit the take profit here, we're going to be done. A lot of people will then try and make more profit and more profit, but you've got to remember when it's events like this, you just need to be in and out. You just want to have an area you want to hit and then just take your profits. You know, around hundred pound now. If we hit the take profit, it'll probably be two, three hundred pounds, which would be a very, very nice, nice few minutes for us. You know, the way I look at it is a few hundred pounds profit on this trade could pay for my food for the next two or three weeks, you know? It, it, that's the way I look at it. And also I get a YouTube video out of it. You guys enjoy watching it. I enjoy doing it. And it's just a bit of fun. You know, we have all this serious trading and I know it's not great to do this sort of trading, but I enjoy it. It's better than going off gambling in my opinion um, because I'm still trading. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's good fun, good fun. But do not do it. Do not do it if you're watching this video. People will obviously be inspired to do it, but I promise you it's not worth it. So you see around 200 pounds now on the trade. Very, very nice. So dropping a little bit now, but that's completely fine. So if we leave the profit screen up there and we look on the trading view now, you can see that we're looking to target price at around this level here. So this is our take profit level. So if we add an alert here on this line, now if price actually hits this line, we get an alert, which is amazing because let's say you don't want to monitor the charts when you're in a trade normally, you set an alert, comes up on your phone, I think you can set it to like email or SMS as well, or you just look on your trading view obviously. We're sat here looking at the screen anyway, so we know if it's gonna hit, but for the people that aren't usually at their charts, it can be a game changer. So we're coming down now around 11 pips away from the area we're looking to take profit at, which is beautiful. Um, around nine pips now, as you see we're up around 270 pounds, and yeah, nine pips. Good fun, good fun. Oh, around 11 pips now, it's, mm, it's not great. But the beauty is of this trading, it's quick. Like when I'm swing trading now, a lot of the times, my trades will take on average, you know, 24 hours minimum. So like a short trade for me is now one day. So doing this kind of trading is completely different. And I've obviously become very patient and disciplined with my swing trading. And this is the complete opposite. You know, I'm making 1-2% to 2 per month on average on my swing trading. So, yeah, you can see how it's quite different. Yeah, around £300 now on the trade, but around 8 pips, 8-9 eight, pips away from the take profit, which is, as I said, is our original entry. Sometimes what I'll do is, if price does dance around, you know, a couple of pips away from the take profit, sometimes you just have to say, okay, I'm going to close it now. Because it's bet you're better off risking and losing those extra four pips for example than losing all the profit you've actually been in and then hitting stop loss that is not ideal in the slightest so there are points for and against that style of closing early like a few pips before the take profit but the risks but the risk versus the reward is very clear to actually close early so yeah okay around five pips four or five pips away from the take profit now and we're running at around 340 350 we're getting there now Four, four and a half poops away. Here we go. Here we go. And it teased the entry there. It teased the take profit there. I'm telling you, it it, it knows. Coming very, very close. Uh, if it his take profit right now, you see it actually went under, but the spread. So we are very, very close. Hopefully we hit it right now. There we go. Take profit hit. We made £417. And as I said, if you try and trade that first move, that buy up, it can be quite dangerous because then you get this massive drop down. But we obviously sold at the top, caught the drop down and made our £417. And yeah, live account as you can see, the same account. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Just beautiful £400 profit. So I'll stop the screen recording there. And yeah, we can be quite happy with the profit we just made on that on that trade. An extra 400 pounds. I'm pretty happy with that and I'm pretty sure you guys will be happy with that too. But yeah, last time I'm gonna say this, do not trade like this. It is dangerous, it is not worth it. It can encourage bad habits, so don't do it. But that's what we've made today, 400 pounds on 
the little NFP trade. And yeah, time to finish my pasta and then get back to work. <laughs>